it now falls to us to insist that we are valuable, that our stories are valuable. This is not the time to, to agree with anybody who says, you're not interesting enough, you're not smart enough, you haven't lived an interesting enough life. Um, none of that, uh, none of that can be allowed to find the tiniest toehold. The exciting thing about Vortex is it brings women from all around the world together uh, to Whidbey for a weekend where they get all sorts of inspiration. They have keynote addresses from the teaching mentors in the morning, and then we break into workshops in the afternoon where we get to do writing prompts and they get to really test out uh, all sorts of new inspiration and then share with each other and immediately have someone hold up a mirror to them about what's so interesting and fascinating about what they're doing and then they can take that away. There's just wonderful nourishment here all around, literally from the food and the kindness that's given to you and the love that you feel and how it was prepared. Also having people who can give me advice and guidance about the reality of the of the industry of it all, but also who have a, a connection to you know, social change and to to the heart of it all and transforming society that um, that makes me feel whole and complete being here. This novel is based on the the whole theme of you know child abuse and you know the perpetrators also. For me it all ties down to um, Hedgebrook, why it resonated with me, women authoring change. I wanted to change that rhetoric of don't speak about this. I wanted to write it. I want it. I want it out there. I want the Nigerian society to begin to know. Look, this happened. This is happening, and we need to change this. I am from Alaska. I'm half Eskimo or Inupak, as we say. I um, write a little bit about what I don't know about my own culture because so much has changed in my parents' generation and my grandparents' generation. Names were changed, um, the Inupak language was lost. So I'm trying to write a little bit about that, about being in between places and between cultures. To be a student again in my 50s and to be able to just sort of be in the company of women who have really sort of I want to say transcend it. What happens when women get together in support of each other is so expansive and, and fierce. There's something that, um, that uh, Karen Joy Fowler said this morning that really, really touched me, which was about allowing ourselves the desire to, um, to want to write and to want to be a writer. And that's something that has been very painful for me to come to because when you grow up, Poor, I feel that that desire is like the one thing that you just don't allow yourself to really, really have. And in the past few months, and especially with this, uh, with Vortex, it's really solidified for me that, you know, I really want this. I really, really want um, to pursue a life in literature. I, I don't think these days you can meet anybody who hasn't either had breast cancer or been touched by it in their families and a lot more people are coming out the other side of this. You're not alone. You're not alone in this writing thing. And whilst it can feel like a very lonely experience, the experience of writing, that um, you're not. There's a world of women out there and um, Hedgebrook is a great place to come find those women, hear from those women who've gone through this and come out the other side and been successful. And I think that that's incredibly motivating and inspiring. There's a huge vulnerability in being a writer and in sharing yourself on the page and um, a part of the process is rejection. I think in having a community here, it's allowed me to get comfortable with that notion that there are gonna be lots of no's and that doesn't mean that that's the end. It just means not yet. I think that if you don't see yourself anywhere, you feel invisible and you feel like you're not worth having your story told and it can also make you feel like you're not capable of achieving your own dreams because you don't see anyone else achieving what you're looking to do. And I think that Hedgebrook has been a great space in helping women create narratives about ourselves and that will help young girls see themselves. The faculty shares as much as the students do and I think that's one of the things that makes the learning so strong. It's such a pleasure to be part of the Vortex faculty this year. I hope I can do it every year. This place is just magic. It's things happen to me here that do not happen anywhere else. You know, I'm living whole, I'm, I'm living nourished, I'm living full.